The traditional standard of care for patients who have brain tumors is that their images are taken prior to the surgery and many times they're loaded into a computer that are used during the surgery as what we call narrow navigation. They don't change. However, during the surgery there are shifts and changes in the brain and sometimes it's until after the surgery is done you take images and you don't know for sure if all that tumor has been removed. So the useful thing about having an intraoperative MRI is that you can take images during the surgery time so that you can have a more real time as to how the shifts occur and pinpoint where that tumor needs to be treated. We use the intraoperative MRI uh, certainly in cases where it's difficult to distinguish between healthy brain and tumor tissue. Sometimes during the surgery, this distinction is not very clear, such in cases where the tumor has different morphologies and shapes, and also tumors that sometimes don't enhance. That means when we give contrast, doesn't light up as clear on the um, regular scans that we do prior to surgery. So the intraoperative MRI can help us sometimes find those edges um, because we know that a gross total resection, meaning that if we can get as much tumor as visible out with negative margins, meaning that there's hardly any tumor cells residual that we can see, um, that it is believed that this will improve the outcome of the patients um, and it will also help with the further treatments and uh, radiation and chemotherapy. However, because of the constraints of the brain anatomy, a gross total resection sometimes is very difficult. Um, because there are areas which we call eloquent areas, which are the delicate areas of the brain that control particular movements or language and other functions. So the intraoperative MRI is a very useful tool to be able to distinguish these limits and safely resect the tumor respecting those eloquent areas.